Hey guys, Chris Chavez here from Chavez Creative Company, and today we're going to do a little bit of a different episode. We're going to do a little deep dive into my background. Uh, I haven't shared much with you guys as to how I got to uh, where I am in my videography business or how I even started a business to, to begin with. Like, what led me here? Um, was I always doing video? Like, what was going on with you, Chris? I wanted to do this just to break up the uh, the daily tips and advice just to have something a little bit different so you know who you're talking who you're listening to each week so uh, grab your uh, grab your cup of coffee and stick around and let's dive into my background shall we coffee's amazing all right so let's start at the very beginning shall we so I was born, no, I'm just kidding, I'm not going to go that far, but I was raised in Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, the land of entrapment, sorry, enchantment, I get that confused. Uh, there I fell in love with acting. So in, in high school, I did the whole theater thing, I was that theater nerd, I uh, also played sports, so I was a weird hybrid. And theater, honestly, if you are struggling with presenting yourself in front of the camera or speaking in front of a large group, theater is such a wonderful, wonderful tool to help you in that transition, in that goal. I wouldn't trade my theater background for anything. It helped with, you know, projecting your voice with, with you know, how to focus with, you know, yourself and how you carry yourself on stage and obviously building a character, but there's so many so many life lessons that you can learn just from theater. I mean, I clearly, I love it. So with theater, I did a lot of short films, a lot of uh, little independent stuff, and also the 48 Hour Film Festival. Now, if you don't know what that is, it is the just most unbelievably um, rewarding and stressful thing an actor can do when it comes to short films. You have 48 hours to uh, write a script, to film uh, said script, and to turn it in on time. Now, it is really fun. Um, if you don't know, if you want to learn more about it, honestly, I'll put a link in the description below because it's it's such an amazing thing. Also, this is not sponsored by 48 Hour Film Festival, but I wish it was. So I want to talk a little bit about my work history. Now, the reason why I want to talk about that is because I, I want to give you an insight as to the jobs that you've had in the past. As much as you don't like some of the jobs, it's so funny to look back on how it shaped you for what you're doing in the future. So let's let's start with Apple computers. I worked at Apple for seven years as everything but a manager. It was a great job. It taught me patience. Oh my God, it taught me patience. The next job I had, I moved out here. So out here I worked at a startup company. It was a tech company. I was a project manager. That taught me organization. It taught me a lot about how to run a project, how to ensure that this project is working and, uh, you know, is on track for the delivery date. So working with devs, working with uh, graphic designers, it really got my foot into that specific world, which, as you know, what I'm doing now, we'll get to that, has helped a lot. Now, my love for theater, my love for performing, doing short films, the next logical step was to hop in front of the camera. Now, this is where it starts to get into the current times. Now, everything that I did when it came to my jobs, Apple, uh, working at the, the uh, tech startup, it groomed me. It helped me to, when I would talk to a client, you know, how to easily strip back all of the really quick lingo and the acronyms and to simplify exactly what they're looking for and what they need. That stemmed from Apple. And then the project management side helped me to organize all my client lists and how to organize what needs to be done. It's, it's, it was such a beautiful yet crazy unexpected transition that I wouldn't trade any of my background for anything. But I digress. This led me into doing my, into starting my videography business. Now, hopping behind the camera, it wasn't new to me, but there's a lot of nuances that go with, you know, running something like a videography business. Uh, not just the equipment, not just filming, but the business aspect of it was so new to me. And it, it was one of those things where, yeah, I had mentors, I still do, uh, reading a lot and honestly learning by doing. That is the biggest thing for me is I need to do. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Gemini, I don't know if that means anything to you. <laughs> I don't know even why I said that. Uh, but you know, I'm very, 
hands-on, I have to touch, I have to do something, right? Um, if you give me a book, I'll learn it eventually, but if, if, if you give me a camera and said, hey, this is a brand new camera, uh, play with it, learn about it, tell me what you think. I will give you a better description and a, I'll have a better understanding into that camera because I played with it. That's just the way I learn. And all these things that build up into doing my videography business, talking to clients, figuring out how to create marketing content that's gonna speak to them, everything has built to this, this moment. Now, I've tried many, many different things, many different jobs. I even have a degree in criminal justice because I thought I wanted to do something in criminology, but something kept pulling me back towards the arts creating, just creating something. I'm a storyteller, that's why I love, I was an actor. I, st I still act, but not as much as I, uh, I, I was. But you know, it, just telling a story, taking idea and making it into something live, something you know, tangible, something that inspires you, something that you can relate to. It's, it was a love that I didn't know was going to be my career. You know, it's something I wanted, but I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know if it was gonna be acting, I didn't know if it was gonna be, you know, I didn't know what it was. But diving into my videography business has been the most exciting, stressful, and rewarding journey. And it's, it's, it's a fun thing, and I'm excited to see where this goes. Now the goals for my business, I'm a one-man operation, guys. I'm almost two years old in my business. So I'm still a baby. I'm only, I'm like one year and eight months or something like that, four, or something like that. So I eventually would like to build a team at some point, but you know, I gotta learn. I got to get my name out there. I gotta get my business, my brand. I have to get all of that out so people know who I am and what I offer. But guys, this is just a short little brief uh, kind of episode just to learn about me because you guys see my face all the time. I wanted to give you a little something, a little background into me. It's, uh, it was just a fun, it's just a fun episode I wanted to share with you guys. Um, but if you do want more information into my business and what I actually do, Let's connect, you know, uh, you can send me an email at chaviscreative.yahoo.com or hop over to my website, www.chaviscreative.co. I also, my, I might as well shameless plug since I got this thing going, I also have a podcast that is based off of my YouTube channel. Uh, it's under the same name, Chavis Creative Company. It is on Spotify, Apple iTunes, and Anchor. But guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you learned a little bit about me as to who I am. And I guess the theater background now doesn't surprise you with how loud and mouthy I am. I talk a lot. I, uh, I'm sorry, my wife. I'm sorry, Jen. I'm really, I'm sorry. But until next time, guys, go out, create, and inspire. And the journey that you're on I promise you, it's going to lead you to where you need to be, where you're supposed to be. You got this.